You're so youth, battle experience. The outcome is very much in doubt. He ain't gonna do much to me that I haven't already seen. Can Kelly Pavlik knock Bernard Hopkins out? This is stoppage time. He's just all grit and determination. All right. Bernard Hopkins is a Hall of Famer. I gotta have myself ready to go to war. Wild goes wild as Hopkins presses his advantage. Constant pressure and constant action. The living legend and the young lion. The crowd rises to its feet. That's what people are really waiting to see. Leather, skin, sweat, and blood. What a fight. Can the unstoppable be stopped? Kelly Pavlik, an unstoppable runaway train, crushing anyone in his path. Pavlik has a huge knockout. Bernard Hopkins, the iron-willed warrior who's never been knocked out. Perfect right hand by Hopkins. Can the undeterred legend derail the Pavlik Express? This is boxing. Pavlik versus Hopkins. On October 18th, boxing phenom Kelly Pavlik will battle boxing legend Bernard Hopkins. The undefeated Pavlik has knocked out 30 of his 34 opponents in becoming a feared world champion. Kelly Pavlik is an action-packed fighter. He makes you fight three minutes of every round. You got a middleweight throwing almost 100 punches around. That's a lot, man. He doesn't tap it. This guy can punch. He's big. He's strong. He's confident. He has a good chin. He has a lot of heart. But the offense is what jumps out at you about Pavlik. Body shots. Uppercuts, left hooks, right crosses, tremendous jab. There's nothing Kelly Pavlik can't do. He's going to go out there and crush you, and that's all he wants to do. He can hit you with a punch that doesn't appear to be hard or heavy, and then the next one that comes shuts down your electrical system. I think a lot of fighters will go, well, it's just all power, but yet it's still finding ways of out punching people and, and getting to the uh, punch before they do. Kelly the Ghost Pavlik, rapidly becoming the centerpiece of American boxing. I know his attributes, I know they are great, but how can Bernard Hopkins, the master, 20 years of boxing, make all those things that made him successful work against him? Two division champion Bernard Hopkins has conquered his competition by imposing his determined will. I've been dubbed as the last multi-style fighter in the last 15, maybe 20 years. The ultimate professional, the executioner at work. He is a master at distance and controlling space and getting his punches off as he falls into clinches and then smothers the other guy's punches. He'll do anything he can to take the other fighter out of his game. He knows how to step on an opponent's foot. He knows how to spin him. He knows how to get inside. Hopkins walks through it, keeps coming. Body shot, body shot. A middleweight contender said that sparring with Bernard Hopkins was like going to grad school. And he said he woke up the next day hurting in spots he's never hurt before. Bernard Hopkins is extremely adept at getting in subtle punishment. I've been a master at taking your best weapon and reducing you down to fight in a style that you didn't even train for. One punch at a time for Kalzaki. Not his game. He really is the total package. It's going to be the ultimate test for young Kelly Pavlik. The guy knows how to fight victories. For me, I don't think he's fought a fighter as strong as me right now. What Hopkins is going to do, I don't know yet, but I know what I'm going to do. Unlike any number of other superstar fighters I could name from the last 10 years, they're not knockout punchers. None of them. They might have knockouts on the record. They're not going into the ring to search and destroy every minute. Kelly Pavlik is. You go and fight somebody who has a 90% knockout ratio. That spells danger. He'll hit you with that big right hand and go back to his corner and say, good night, let's go. For Kelly Pavlik, Hopkins represents his greatest challenge to date, a future Hall of Famer who has never been knocked out. The odds of Bernard Hopkins getting knocked out is only for me to stick my chin out and let him hit it. There's a reason he hasn't been knocked out. Bernard's got a great chin, and that's one of the underrated things about him. This is an testament to his defense. He never lets you hit him clean. Pavlik's camp looks at Hopkins and goes, yeah, okay, there's risk. But what if we knocked Bernard Hopkins out? And that reward has crossover mainstream sports sex appeal.
Bernard's a big, strong guy, and he's a legend. And that's what makes this fight so interesting for us. But I just think it's time to put the old dog to rest. Fire hoses and 800-pound tires are just part of Kelly Pavlik's unorthodox training techniques. Yet his strength and success have dissuaded those from questioning his preparation. In fact, opponents have been known to take Pavlik very seriously ever since Edison Miranda didn't. All Edison Miranda did was talk about fighting Jermaine Taylor. Touch gloves. Kelly and his trainer got up and said, Hey, you better concentrate on us. Kelly Pavlik, not backing off, thinks he has Miranda going and wants to get him right now. Our game plan was we're going to take some shots, but we got to keep going forward. And this is stoppage time. Kelly Pavlik has a huge knockout victory. Kelly just hammered him. It was one of the most incredible destructions of a guy inside of seven rounds that I've ever seen. Kelly Pavlik wasn't uh, some guy coming from obscurity, but no one really believed he had a chance against Jermaine Taylor. Jermaine's an excellent fighter and a great athlete, hurts Pavlik. And Pavlik waves Jermaine on as though he wasn't hurt and drops his hands. 